a little bit less serious because I don't want to do that anymore. But Pete Davidson out here is doing consensual sex. Okay. Potentially, actually. I don't know. With Miley Cyrus now. So we heard a couple days ago that dude was smacking uh, Kim K's cheeks. Kanye was on his knees, not even on his knees, but he was singing to Kim K at the Larry Hoover concert with Drake to come back. And then the next day, Kim K files the divorce papers to change her name back to Kim K, not West anymore. But then, and it, and it was all because of D Pete Davidson, because apparently they're dating. But then there is news coming out that, bro, let's look at it. Pete Davidson, right here. Now Pete Davidson is finessing Kim K and potentially smacking Miley Cyrus's cheeks as well. Miley Cyrus and P Pete Davidson spent quality time together following their Jimmy Fallon appearance. Miley was seen pulling her SUV into Pete's Staten Island condo. Uh, there's the Jimmy Fallon appearance. Uh, spent more quality time together, blah, blah, blah. They left NBC around 8.30 and arrived at Pete's place around 9.40 p.m. So people are saying that he's smacking both. Kim K and Miley Cyrus's cheese. K Pete Davidson is a fucking G. Look at this dude. He is a W. He is the exact definition of a W. Now, I know a lot of people want to believe that he 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 banged Miley Cyrus, but <sighs> when you're an entertainer, and I don't consider myself that at all, but I did wake up at 1 p.m. today and I normally do wake up at like 11 or 12 and I go to sleep at like 2, 3, so a.m. that is. So it is not that weird that Miley went over to Pete Davidson's house at 8.30. Yes, to the general public, that looks weird. Like, oh my God, why is she there so late? Are they like having a glass of wine and then they're gonna go do intercourse? Like, nah. They're probably just friends, especially if he's banging Kim K. That's way more publicity for him. Not to mention a fatter ass. And probably she's less crazy than Miley Cyrus. But maybe crazy is good in Miley Cyrus's case. But I just I just think that after they probably they probably did not do anything. Miley just went over there to go chill because they both probably smoke weed and do drugs and shit. Like remember when Miley Cyrus got uh exposed when she turned 18 for like smoking salvia and whatnot and then she did like the whole wrecking ball shit and then she just turned into like a freak she went from hannah montana to literally hannah montana like like the fucking coke addict hannah montana they doing hella kim k do got the dumpy though that's what i'm saying Pete trying to smack everyone he got white, black, Asian on his list. Who else does Pete Davidson have on his track record? So, but look, he got Kim K. He got Miley, potentially, which I actually don't think that he did. Ariana Grande, he's killing it. You don't understand what these women see in Pete Davidson. Bro is really built like Prince Philip. Here's what Pete Davidson got that everybody else don't got. He is likely one of the funniest people to be around. I mean, I don't know Pete Davidson. I don't really watch SNL. Um, I've only watched a couple movies with Pete Davidson in it. He is just like a, I don't know, like a, like he's just funny acting. He just acts fun, like himself. So I'm sure that he, he makes these girls laugh and that's the best way into their pantalones cortos. You make them laugh. It doesn't even matter as a man how attractive you are. I'm convinced. I was telling the girls this last night when we were out. I was like, think about this. You got Jeff Bezos coming up to you, even as a dude, even as a dude like me. He says, like, I'll give you like half my you can you can use my money for whatever you want, but I get to smack them cheeks like every Friday night, right? Nope, like no homo pause, but you can wake up, eat whatever food you want. You got a chef 
that's cooking up whatever sauce you want. Not even eggs. You can get chicken and waffles. Lunch. Again, you got a private chef doing all this shit. You can buy whatever you want and walk around in whatever clothes you want. You can have every video game you want. You have fucking virtual reality shit. You can go to space. He's got a spaceship. Uh, but again, you got to, you know, put up with him. You can learn to love him. And I ain't gay, but I'm just saying, like, if I, if someone gave me a couple billion dollars, like, sure, I might, I might, uh, take one for the team. I might have like a little girl on the side. Bella could be like my side piece, but publicly, you know, I'd give it to Jeff Bezos. I'm just saying he smashed Jimmy Fallon, who Jeff Bezos, Selena Gomez, leaves. Selena Gomez got like fat kind of. Did she not? But still, I'm just saying women only care about status and wealth. And if you're funny, like the, you can be like the most amazing dude and you can pull bitches at the, at the club, or whatever. But ultimately, if you want to lock down a girl, it doesn't matter really what you look like. A lot of uh, Bella's friends like they have you know they're not like the craziest boyfriends like attractiveness wise or even height but they're like funny they can hold a conversation they can um I don't know get the girl to talk about themselves and once the girls start talking about themselves then that's like how they start liking you like damn like this is what I wanted. I just want someone to talk to, someone to tell me, or someone to tell my day about and who's actually interested in my shit. And if you're both famous and rich, she'd probably only care if you're funny to be honest. That's, that's true. I was also, I, I was at the barber because I was getting a haircut two days ago. And I told Bella, like, honestly, if you're a guy and you're rich and famous, people will call you attractive just because you're rich and famous and like people know your face and it's just like familiar like there's just pictures of you online like they'll, they'll like fantasize about you even if you're some ugly motherfucker like any of these rappers right like a lot of people say like little baby's ugly right but i'm sure and trippy red but I'm sure there's girls who fantasize over them and find them the most attractive people because of their status and wealth. So it does not matter what you look like as a dude. Just, just work on yourself, bro. Get the money, get the fame, maybe not even the fame, just the status like within your little inner circles. But it, you could be you could be ugly. When you're famous, you low key become a beauty standard by default. Exactly. Because like, what is, what is beauty? Beauty is so subjective. I want to say that, um, like Rihanna, right? Rihanna is like the pinnacle of woman. I want to say for a lot of people or like Beyonce, but in an alternate dimension, there could be the whole world or universe could be the exact same just the beauty standard is upon i don't i don't know uh who's another like miley cyrus is the most attractive but a lot of people don't really hold her as the beauty standard she's not she's like attractive but i don't know i don't know if i'm explaining it well what whatever but you smash selena powell and get an std <laughs> jesus christ that all those girls got like bbls they look so fake not that i like hate fake because i have you know, i would be willing to try some plastic ruby rose yes ruby rose is a beast ariana grande doesn't have a dump truck but people still say she top 10 of all time it's because of her face she's very attractive but actually that being said, there is a, an objective beauty standard. Typically, people say who are attractive. It's about your symmetry or symmetry or whatever, how you pronounce it, of your face and just like body parts. Like if you've got a face that looks exactly the same on this side to this side, then apparently like that makes you more attractive without people even realizing that's the reason why. But also at the same time, a lot of attractiveness comes from pheromones. And it's like, how do you smell someone's pheromones through a 
picture online. So it just is super complicated now of like who is actually attractive. So again, if you're a dude, just work on yourself, buddy. Make your money, you earn your status, and you can get any bitch you want. If you ask me, people get hard by smelling because it's uh, it's it's not a real smell. You you subconsciously smell people's pheromones. If that makes sense, you don't actually like smell somebody, but you f you feel them. I don't I don't know the science behind pheromones, but that's what actually makes people attracted to each other. It's not necessarily like what they look like. Like when you're talking to a girl. You can have two girls that look exactly the same, like twins, right? Identical twins wearing the same exact outfit. But one, just the pheromones might link up with yours super tightly. And you have a w way more attracted. You're way more attracted to her than her twin sister. For some reason, whatever reason it is. You want to smell a girl's ass like a dog. Damn. Um. I can't say that. I was talking to Bella about like uh, girls not shaving their assholes. Is this a hip hop news account or a biological down bad analytics? It's a whatever the fuck I want because it's called Baba Lamb. That's what it is, which is my name. Um, as I was saying, though, if you find a girl, you're hitting it from the back and she does not shave her asshole. I'd be out of there so fast, but there have been times I look down and I'm like, and I start vomiting all over their back. They think I'm coming, but really I'm just like, all right, I'm, I'm done. Like, peace out because they have some like nasty ass butthole hair, but some girls you talk to them and they're like, wait, what you're supposed to shave your butthole. And you're like, girls don't even realize you can see their asshole when you when you have sex with them. It's like, yes, it's plain and clear. Like when you spread your legs, like you, your asshole is literally like wide open, like a fucking book. Women have ass hair. What the fuck, bro? <laughs> Every human being has ass hair. Do I shave my ass? I will be real. I, I literally will shave like my ass cheeks and ass hole, like not, not like with a, a manual razor, but with an electric one, because I don't want like shit getting caught in it while I'm wiping and shit, you know, it just makes it a way more pleasant experience. Plus when you walk around and you got smooth cheeks, I'm telling you, you feel like you're gliding. You feel like the ice man from uh, Mr. Fantastic. I trim my nose hairs. Yeah, I, I I pull them out. Actually, I pluck them. I shave everywhere, pretty much. I, I have to shave my chest. I have to shave my. I have to shave my shoulders. I have to shave my back. I'm just a hairy dude. Imagine cutting your skin in your hole, and then when you're hurting, it poop. <laughs> I don't have to worry about that.